Hi everybody, this is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. I'm pretty happy, it's an exciting day. And, oops, I'm about to fall out of my bed because I forgot to adjust it. It tends to slide forward, and that's part of my problem with this because I've got my mattress on top of the bench that came with the van. So, every time I move, it starts, my, my mattress doesn't want to stay on it. So, hold on a second, because i got to move it forward. Ooh, okay, that's better. And how's everybody today? Guess what? Today is Wednesday. I got my check today. I have lots of stuff to do. And I'm going to try to remember to take you with me on all my little excursions today. And hopefully, the end of this video is going to show me driving down the highway on my way to Memphis. We'll see how that goes. I have a list of things that I've got to do today. So it's going to be a busy day. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Walmart. Uh, Walmart, uh, I've got to get, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bite the bullet and buy some store-bought gesso for my um, paintings. Uh, I made gesso and I think it came out fine. It's doing the trick, but the problem I'm having <laughs> is a stupid problem, but uh, if I leave it closed too long, I can't get the stupid lid off. The first one I made, I ended up having to throw that little, little. it was a little bitty container, um, but uh, I couldn't get it open. Um, so uh, my son helped me open the one I have now, and I'm trying to open it every day you know, to loosen the lid. Uh, evidently the glue that I use, uh, sticks. But uh, I don't know how they do it on the store-bought one. If it's uh, the container, maybe I'll use one and then keep the container and mix my concoction into that container. Because if what I make is working, I should keep making it. I just don't have the right container for it for some reason. Okay, so anyway, I'm getting gesso. Um, I'm going to buy some more canvases, and uh, I'm going to buy a gas cap for my van, and windshield wipers for my van. Um, I'm going to buy a fly swatter, because I'm doing good. I haven't seen any ants in a while. I got rid of the ants, but... If I have my windows open, flies come in like crazy, and they drive me nuts. Luckily, they, they're on the same sleep pattern as me, so they don't bug me when I'm trying to sleep. But uh, during the day, they, they irritate the heck out of me, so I'll, I'm going to get me a little fly sweater. Plus, if I accidentally ended up getting a, a wasp in here or something, I'd want something to hit it with, with a long handle, so I wouldn't have to get too close. Because I don't like bees and wasps. I mean, I like them. I like bees. Uh, outside. I don't want them inside. I get a stink bug once a day. It's stink bug season here, evidently. But uh, those guys don't scare me. They just irritate me. And I've never smelled it, which means I guess I've never killed one, because supposedly when you kill it, that's where the stink is. But I always capture it. I get it to get on a plate or something, and I put it outside. Those don't bother me. Daddy lawn legs don't bother me. I get them to get on something and I put them outside. Uh, other spiders, no, I don't want them. I think I got bit last night by one, but I couldn't find it, so I don't know. Anyway, where was I? I'm going to get me a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something because I realize I don't have any real winter tops. <laughs> and uh, I probably need something... I don't need a bunch of them because I'm not going to be in, in total snow and ice type winter if I can help it. But I've got to get something more than uh, these little thin t-shirts. So I'm going to get one hoodie or a sweatshirt or something. Preferably a hoodie, I think. Anyway, um, knee-high socks for, for uh, plus size um, because... Um, I have bad circulation, and when they stop at the ankle, um, I'm sure other people have this problem too, it cuts off my circulation. I don't like them. So if I can get some knee-high ones, that's good. I can do knee-highs. 
and my my tootsies are getting cold <laughs> so I'm gonna get some okay so Walmart and then I'm going to uh, get a little bit of food not bunch but a little bit um, I'm gonna fill up my water jugs I have three one gallon water jugs I know that's not a whole lot but that's all I need to start with I can always refill them and uh, you know, if comes a time when I'm at the RTR or something and I need something bigger, I'll do it then. But for just traveling, I can always refill them on the way. So three's plenty. And, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, do a little bit of grocery shopping, some uh, necessities like toilet paper and uh, handy wipes or something. And then I gotta do laundry. And,. I need to go to the gym so I can get a shower and get cleaned up. I'm going to do that after I do laundry so I can uh, have my choice of what clean clothes to wear because I'm getting down again. And uh, I want to go to the library. I've started on the two paintings I wanted to get done before I leave town. And I don't want to rush it. I mean, I don't want to say I'm done if I'm not done. I I'm kind of picky, like I said, on my paintings. And... and uh, uh, I'm doing two bunnies on one painting, I'm doing a kitty cat on the other, but this is from photographs from this person, this wonderful person. And so I need to kind of try to make them look like the actual animals, which is a little more difficult. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm still working on them, but uh, I don't know if I'll have those done or not, so I may end up having to mail those to her. Because I was just thinking, she said she wanted them for Christmas presents. So I could take, if I don't get them done today, to my specs, to my, you know, approval. Um, I'm going to mail them to her so I don't have to stay in town just for that reason. Um, it should be just as easy to mail them. Okay. And then I need to stop by my roomies say goodbye and also look and grab whatever else I think I need for this trip. Um, he's been kind enough to let me leave things in the basement, but uh, there are some things, like I have a coat, an actual coat, that I probably should bring, even though it's going to take up room, but I'll stick it in the garage behind the <laughs> bed. I have room back there. Still haven't figured out how to open my back door. Um... But I'm gonna have I'm gonna get it done today. I'm gonna have someone show me. I think the problem I'm having is, well, I, yeah, I I need I need knowledge on the back door because um, I could probably open the back door from the outside with the key. I just didn't want to force the key because I'm afraid I'll break the key off. And it, I've got this fear. I I need to make extra keys. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. But um, I need to figure out if there's a way to open it from the inside. I really would like to know that. <laughs> I cannot figure it out for the life of me. So um, I may go to an actual Chevy place because they should know, right? Maybe. Okay, so that's all the stuff I got to do today. And uh, then I'm on my way. I would like to stop by and say goodbye to my daughter. But I don't know what her schedule is today. I know she's got something to do tonight. But I was hoping to be gone before tonight. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to get to see her or not. I hope I can because I, I want to see her before I leave. Because I don't think... Well, I, yeah, I'm planning on coming back um, for Thanksgiving. That's November 25th, roughly. And today is October 16th, so that's only a month, so that's not too bad. Before I head way west, um, which will be after Thanksgiving, I definitely am going to see my daughter. And if I come back for Thanksgiving, that'll be at her house, so I may just end up having to do it that way. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a very busy, happy day. I'm very excited about leaving I also want to check my oil once more. I want to buy some oil so I have it in the vehicle because I can get it pretty cheap here. And uh, 
Yeah, just just excited and ready to go. Um, I'm going to try to get a part-time job in Memphis. I hope I do better than I did here. But uh, if not, you know, I'll just keep trying to sell my paintings. And I'll show you my paintings once I uh, get them to uh, the person that ordered them. I figure she should have, you know, see them first. Um, but uh, I'm taking pictures of them as I go, the progression, so that I can show that to you. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling on because I just am excited. I can't help it. Um, but uh, just hang on and, and we'll see what else I can uh, get you into today. Okay. First stop. auto parts store. I already went to the bank, took out some money, and went to Casey's to put it on my net spend for my the beginning of my emergency fund. So I put some money into my net spend, which I'm not going to touch. And now I'm going to buy me a gas cap and windshield wipers and hopefully someone there is going to show me how to put the wipers on. I'm sure I could figure it out but I'd much rather have them do it since that's something that they do I think as a service. We'll find out. <laughs> hey guess what he's doing. Yes I have New wipers, and I have blades, $33, $33, that's not bad. Wow, I have a crack. Wonder where that came from. There's a crack there, isn't it? Over there? Wow, that wasn't there. That's weird. Wonderful. Okay, so you just picked those, right? Thank you. I appreciate it. You too. How the hell did I get a crack on my stupid window? Can you see it? I have a crack right... Where the hell is it? Right about there. Too. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Anyway, got my vipers. Got my thing. So scratch that off the list. It's not on my list, but since it's right next to Walmart, I figured this might be a good place to check out. Um. What am I thinking? Sweatshirts. So we're gonna try for sweatshirts. Hey. So I did good at uh, uh, Goodwill. Spent eight dollars and fifty-seven cents. I doubt if I could have gotten one sweatshirt for that at Walmart. And I got two long sleeve sweater, long sleeve, warm. So that's good. So I'm set for that. Whee! They're not hoodies, but uh, that's okay. They're gonna. Be and the funny thing about this is, <laughs> I made sure and locked the door. I noticed my passenger side door was uh, not locked, and I thought, well, I'm in a bigger town. I'm near a Walmart. Uh, a lot of activity. I probably should lock it up. So I locked that door. Uh, I left this one unlocked, thank goodness, because I left the keys in the ignition. <laughs> ah. Okay, so I got this nice warm men's sweater. Doesn't that look nice and warm? That was $4. And I got this. 
And this is a nice warm material too. Men's sweater. Long sleeve. Big and roomy. Four dollars. With tax, I think it was four fifty uh eight. Yeah, eight fifty seven. So that's not a bad haul at all. So I can scratch. Oh, I'm doing so good. I can scratch Walmart off because really the only other thing I was going to get at Walmart was knee socks. I can wait on those. That's nothing urgent. And scratch off the sweatshirts. Oh, well, I was going to get a fly sweater too. I used to want to go into Walmart unless I have to because I'll want to spend money. I don't know if I have the, uh, the what do you call it? self-control to just go in for a fly swatter and knee socks. Hmm. I could get... No. Oh, I need gesso. Gesso, too. But see, that's all... No, uh, none of that is urgent. Um, I think we're going to pass on that for now. I'll leave it on my list. But look, my list has gone down considerably. All this is wiped off. Uh, wiped off Walmart. Uh, I added car wash down here because uh, I do want to uh, vacuum out the car and wash it down a little bit. It's going to always look kind of funky anyway, but I figured I could give it a little bit of a wash because I want to put Bertha on the front. And I figured it ought to be, at least the you know surface dirt should be off of it. Uh to do that. So I still have to go to the gym. I've been putting off the laundry. I need to go do laundry. Uh, this is going to be kind of a long, longer post than I expected. So I think what I'm going to do is do a part two. Because uh, I don't want my post to be so long that I have too much, not enough memory on my phone to post it. So we got Part one is done, and we'll go to part two in a little bit. Um, just in case you don't see part two until tomorrow, I will tell you now to stay happy. I'm very happy. It's uh, it's about, uh, I think, 11 o'clock or something like that, so I still have lots of time to get some other stuff done. and. Uh, Oh, my mouth is so dry. Mm. Water. I love water. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. So have a good day. And I'll post part two tomorrow. You just have to wait till tomorrow. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get out of town today. It's looking very positive because, like I said, it's still early. It's not even noon yet. So, uh, I gotta do some laundry. That's gonna take the longest. The rest of it's gonna be just, uh, stop and start stuff. Okay! Yay! She's on her way! Uh, almost. <laughs> Have a great day. Follow your bliss. Be nice to each other. And, uh, stay tuned. Love y'all.